Hi, I'm Francois. Welcome to the channel. Okay, so let's take a look at this saw chord sound with wavetable right here. So what is going on? We're playing a saw wave right here in oscillator number two from the basic shapes. And we're playing it all the way up with zero decibels. And then we have oscillator two playing from the basics, uh, oops, quad saw. So this one. And all the way up as well, just at position 15% in the wave table down here. I think it's actually really powerful. So I'm using it at 15%. And then I also have a sub in here. Gain is minus two decibels. So these are our sound sources combined. And then we have the OSR setting on our filter low pass filter right here with 24 decibels per octave and resonance is 16 percent but you can see our filter is being manipulated by an envelope so if we go to matrix we can see envelope number two is automating the filter frequency 86% of envelope number two shape is being applied on this knob. So a little bit of delay on the attack, then six second decay and 54% of sustain. So we have this wah, and then we are slowly going down, like uh, we hit the keys on the piano, but we're still on the sustain. And then it kind of fades out slowly and after a long period of time when we release our finger from the note it will have another 600 milliseconds until the sound is completely gone so this is envelope number two envelope number one amplifier is playing an attack time of 88 milliseconds which is quite long it takes this long to get up here to the highest level and then it takes another 2.7 seconds to go back down to a sustained level of minus 23 and this is the one counting for our sound so this one is shorter and lower and this is what affects our sound but that's exactly what we're looking for in this sound we don't want it to play all the way through even if we have our notes all the way through right here we just want to have this tap in and then have these nice vibes and then go to the background so looking at the matrix again we can also see that envelope number three is automating our pitch and that's this like tune in effect of this sound it's like a wrong goes in like that with this shape on the pitch of our oscillators so we're going up in the pitch very quickly and that's controlled with this knob you could also come from upper but i think it sounds nicer if we come from down low okay and then we have an lfo and this one is basically not doing anything here. This is used for a different purpose. Was LFO number two doing? 
just very, very, very subtly applied on the pitch, but I don't know if that even counts. So it would pitch around like this if it were activated much more, but we just have like this very subtle moving on the pitch, which adds to this analog feel of the sound. And with the second one, we're basically not doing anything because the amount is at zero. And we are not using this right here on the sound. So overall, we are set to poly. We could play eight voices. And yeah, I think it's crucial to understand what envelope number two is doing on the filter what envelope number three is doing on the pitch and then LFO number two on the pitch as well, just subtle tuning in and out for this analog kind of feeling. Nice vibes.